The Rubicon UC2 features the E-Trax Pearl cover and mild asymmetric Rondeur core. The E-Trax formula has been used in several iterations in the HP3 and HP4 lines over the last few years, and this version of the formula is the Pearl version of the Idle Synergy cover. The Rondeur core comes in at a 249RG, 052 differential, and an 011 split or intermediate differential in 15 pounds, the idea again being to mimic a stronger symmetric ball with a weight hole. The original Rubicon was already pretty quick on friction despite being a solid, and with the cleaner E-Trax base formula on it, it definitely punched a lot, and the UC2 takes that up to 9000. It's very quick on friction and very easily controlled and manipulated with physical adjustments. I can play virtually anywhere I want to with this ball, as you'll see here in a few seconds. It's becoming a favorite of both Angel and mine because it's very easy down the lane and turns quickly on friction, while being a lot more consistent than you might expect it to be. It gets easy length for Angel and more punch than she gets out of literally anything else in her bag, and for me it's something I can float out of and still get a sharp and visually comfortable move on the back end. In addition, if I need to get deep, there are no angles it won't recover from, at least if you're on the right conditions for it. The Rubicon UC2 is a ton of fun. It's moved its way into both of our main league bags, and paired with the Rubicon, they're a pretty devastating combo. I give the Rubicon UC2 a 7 for hook, a 7 for length, and a 9 for back end strength. It's closest to the astrophysics and hook potential, the idle synergy in length, and the nuclear cell in back end strength. The Zen features the S77 Response Pearl cover stock and strong symmetric mediate core. The cover is quite strong. In storm cover language, I'd put it in R3X or Traction X7 territory, so stronger Marvel Pearl cover or Parallax Effect cover is how it reads to me, and the mediate core is the largest core Global has ever put in a ball. Numbers are 249RG, 051 differential, and 15 pounds, pretty similar to the numbers from the Icon core in the Idle series. The Zen to me shapes a lot like the trend, a very continuous arc or like a pearl phase two. It's quite strong for a shiny ball, a little deceptively strong, you'll definitely want some volume out there for it. It'll play on most fresh house shots or as the first shiny ball down from a stronger sanded ball for either league or tournaments. It's one of those balls you've seen everywhere. They're on league racks, we've seen them on TV, so it's well deserving of the hype and the praise. It's become one of those bag staples for a lot of people, uh, you know, like something like a High Road or Phase 2 or IQ Tour Solid. It's very versatile and seems to cover a lot of spots in the bag. It's strong, it's responsive, it plays well from multiple angles, it controls the lane well, and works for a lot of different bowler styles. I gave the Zen an 8 for hook potential, a 6 for length, and a 7 for back end strength. It's closest to the parallax effect on hook potential, the axiom pearl on length, and the trend on back end strength. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.